Hello, welcome to the Arm and Bed booth. Today, I'm going to show you some of the demos that we have. Also, I want to give you some statistics on the Arm and Bed ecosystem. Over the last 12 months, uh, we have uh, increased our, our partnership quite a bit. So we have close to about 100 partners now. Uh, not only that, uh, we're estimating that over the next 12 months, we'll be shipping 8.5 million devices worldwide. So the partners are like uh, chip makers, uh, integrators, people that make devices? Yes, that is correct. Uh, and also that includes um, cloud partners as well, companies that are actually managing IoT cloud services. So uh, I would like to introduce you to two of my colleagues. This is Holly and that's Eric. They will show you the demos today. Hello, so who are you? Hello, uh, my name is Holly. Uh, I'm a senior software engineer based in uh, ARM Cambridge office and I'm working uh, in the portal team of uh, our Embed Cloud services. So what are you showing here? Okay, today um, I'm going to show the demo of um, Edimax Airboxes. So what so, is that device? Right, so this is a, a product that you can buy on the market already. And uh, this is built on um, Embed OS. So this is basically an air, uh, air box. Uh, it, it can detect your um, air quality. So you can tell the temperature, the humidity, and the PM 2.5, which is uh, really important to uh, Asia, Asia, Asian people. Uh, so uh, we have two versions here. This one, the connectivity is Wi-Fi, and this is based on a uh, cellular network. So this is the cellular uh, antennas. And what's the and demo? So um, because this is already connecting to our embed cloud, and you can uh, get real-time information on here. So this is the uh, world map uh, page we built uh, based uh, uh, showing the data from the cloud. Uh, and so we have one device connecting to, to the cloud here uh, in Taiwan. So you can see the location here. And if you click it, you can get those real-time data, the PM 2.5 and temperature humidity. And, uh, and you can get the uh, history information as well. Um, so is this yeah. a demo app that you build on the cloud? Yeah, so um, what it does is we have uh, our embed cloud services, which does um, uh, device management and uh, other services like firmware updates. And this is to show the device management part. So we get all the data via uh, web services of our cloud. And this is just a JavaScript page. And you can also build your own app and the visualization based on those data. So yeah. It so is. if a device supports embed, then automatically it's going to be uh, easy to integrate this kind of stuff. Yes, exactly. So this is running embed, uh, embed OS five, and uh, um, it can just it supports to connect to the embed cloud, and you can also uh, if you register a, a account embed cloud account on our portal, uh, which looks like this. So this is our demo account right now. And uh, you can uh, see there are a couple of services supported, device management, and uh, this is the list of uh, registered devices, and you can view your device's information, and also you can control, uh, like manage your um, users' API keys, and you can do remote firmware uh, management. And for this demo, uh, this is the connected devices page, which shows exactly the four devices we showed on the world map. So they are they are uh, consuming the same same API, and but this is a, a, a example uh, portal that we built for our cloud services. But our um, API is available, so you can always build your own application based on that. Nice, and there's a lot of devices that support embed, right? Yes, that's correct. Uh, so my name is Eric. I'm software engineer at ARM. I'm also based in Cambridge, and I will show you today the embed device uh, connectivity demo. So what I have here is a few devices, each uh, boards, each of them supports different connectivity channel. <coughs> so I have like the Ethernet here. I have like six low pan. Uh, I have a thread. I have like a Wi-Fi, LoRa. 
uh, sorry, GSM, LoRa, and BLE. And what I will show you is how easy it is. So all of those devices are running Embed OS. I will show you how easy it is to use them in Embed Device Connector. So, so I'll just one by one, you can connect them. Yes, that's correct. So in Embed Device Connector, we can see uh, here like a list of all of the devices that I have at the moment connected. So those are the devices we've tested. And from the device connector, I can send like the uh, get, put, post request to each of these devices. So each of these devices is running like a very simple program, uh, which will allow me to, when I send the post request, it will actually bring the LED on each of the device. So I will show it for a few of them. Uh, so when I select uh, like here, uh, I can send for example, a post request, I can select the, the device. So I will select uh, at the moment the endpoint uh, for this Nucleo device. So I selected the endpoint, I will choose the path, uh, so resource path, so I will choose the resource responsible for do the blinking. I will send the data to be posted. And what will happen is it will send the post request and over the Ethernet uh, for five seconds, the LED here will blink. So I'm sending the request right now. And what you can see, like here, the LED actually blinks for five seconds, and then it stops. And I can do also the same for different boards. So for example, here, when you have the uh, nuclear board that uh, is using the um, Wi-Fi one, I can actually do the same. So I can select the, uh, the endpoint that is responsible for uh, this device. So it's uh, this one. Uh, I can also like select the uh, resources possible for Blink. I can send also the same data and it will do exactly the same. So it will also like link the LED here. So as we can see, I'm sending the request and the LED is blinking for like five seconds. And this demo uh, also works for other like connectivity channels. So what it uh, shows is how easy it is when the board supports Embed OS to use it with like uh, different connectivity channels. Thank you so for your attention. Just yeah. for any kind of connectivity and there's uh, yeah. all these different types of connectivity, there's also a Bluetooth. Yes, that's correct. So we also have like a DLE, we have, like I mentioned before, we have like six low punk threads, and, and we can have like this demo like working in right. the device connector. But over there yeah. you have more blu about Bluetooth. Hello. Yes. Uh, so who hi, are you? I'm Philippe, Philippe Bressy from Army Cambridge, uh, working for the wireless BU. Uh, so what we have here, as my colleagues from uh, Embed, we tried to put together a demo showing a use case. So we got a smart parking meter. So what we have here is the, so the parking meter there. You can see yeah. there's actually already some uh, money paid into it. So what it does that uh, parking meter through a beacon. So you get on your, on your phone uh, through the beacon on uh, Bluetooth uh, an app that goes to physical web to say you can put some money. And it goes all the way to the cloud through the IBM Watson IoT platform and the embed device connector to, pro, to connect to the parking meter. So uh, uh, this is a prototype based on, uh, is, it, is it specifically made by ARM? Yeah, so everything's done. So we've got ARM um, called your radio IP, so uh, it's our Bluetooth uh, 5 uh, And this IP. is a reference design from ARM? Yeah, so we put, put uh, this together, the, the whole PC you can see. We have some proxy sensors, some uh, cameras. So it's really a use case scenario. Um, at the moment, the, the backbone is still to Ethernet. But uh, in our future demos, uh, perhaps you know, like we've got now some NB-IoT uh, IP. So in the future, uh, the backbone will be done to uh, NB-IoT. So really uh, to have a showing a full uh, complete solution from, um, from uh, the RF side all the way to the cloud. And so people come with their phone and any Bluetooth phone? Yes, that'd be the idea. Just show, to showcase like, you know. Show up with the phone? Yeah. It could so, be NFC? It could be well, no, at the moment, just to show like this done Bluetooth with Bluetooth. Stuff. Uh, here, what we have is showing our, our Bluetooth 5 IP. So we've got a sniffer uh, showing all the different packets. So 1 megabit, 2 megabit per second. Also 500k per k to show the long range that's working. So uh, that means the, the, the Bluetooth 5 is longer range? Yes, long range, uh, uh, more throughput to 2 megabit per second. So it's going to be uh, different uh, use case scenarios. And it's, it's ready to go into mass production devices? It's not yet shipping? Or it are it there any it devices it out there with Bluetooth 5? It is shipping. There's already a lot of Bluetooth 5 out there. Uh, yeah, for instance, you know, like, you know, some phones are, are that already. Um, 
like Chris can show you. Oh yes, uh, so we've got also different uh, uh, radios that we have, different families, SMIC, uh, with Aura, uh, TSMC 50 final reader from the ARM code URF, because we, pro we have our own RF, so RF application, everything's from ARM. All right, and uh, over here, there's a partner showing something over there. Can you introduce this one? Yes, so this one is really awesome. So this is <coughs> and this is a EV charger, and um, so this, this, this is, is demonstrating. The, the inside, and, and uh, apparently this is the EV charger up from outside, what it looks like. Outside. So it's real? It, it's, it's, a, it's real, There's yes. a lot of power in there. Yeah. So um, this is based on uh, our Codex M4, and it's build on, uh, building, uh, it's running embed OS and uh, 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 cloud as well. So um, I'll show you how it works first. So because this is, um, so the market is in China mainland now for this product. So you have to register uh, with, um, so I'm not sure if you are familiar with the WeChat social media yeah. uh, software. Uh, you have to log in with your WeChat. Log in with your WeChat and uh, subscribe to this WPI uh, Internet uh, Solution uh, number. And so this Chong Dian Zhuang, this means EV charger. So you need to press this button, and then you will be able to see all the uh, available EV chargers around you. Actually, uh, on the map, because uh, this is our demo one. So uh, this is already found here and press Chong Dian, which means uh, charge now. And you need to press charge, and you need to press this to enter enter the number of the charger. So just press this. So the number of this one, this demo one, is 14. So you need to, pre uh, need to enter the number 14 here and specify uh, how long you want to charge it for. And uh, this is the, the amount of uh, uh, the price you will pay mm -hmm. for the... That's cheap. That's cheap, yeah, for yeah. now. <laughs> and uh, so, so, and I just uh, click, uh, pressed the start, and you can see here. Uh, it goes to the board in there. It, yeah, so the green light is on, which means it is do, it's charging now. And so, uh, the point here is uh, normally when you charge your car, it takes uh, a long time, normally, I think. So, you can leave your car there charging and you can uh, just take your phone and walk around because you can track the progress of the charging and this is the time remaining and you can see the uh, the amount of uh, uh, time this, has passed. This application works over the embed cloud? Yes, so this application is uh, so so I, let, let me finish this first and the, if you press uh, finish um, so it will stop the green light is off, and also you can see the, the history of the charge. Um, so, so this is, yeah, this is built on uh, Embed OS too. And it's a and demo with NXP? Yes, it is. On yeah. the yes. Kinetis K6? Yeah, yeah, and this is using cloud as well. So <laughs> you get all the information, and it's integrated in with WeChat at the moment. So yeah, it's a real helpful and uh, useful application in China. And also you can, because, uh, sorry, yeah. in WeChat, uh, you can, you have um, your bank account associated with your, your, with your WeChat account. So you can just pay with your WeChat and uh, don't need to pay cash or anything. It's very nice. Convenient. So the momentum is, is uh, going up with the embed and more and more stuff is happening, mm -hmm. very stable. And more and more products yeah. are coming out, right? Yes, that's correct. Definitely, yeah. like the embed is on the radar now. Lots of people are like uh, speaking and like talking about it at the moment. And is is fun to work on? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like yeah. Every day, it's like it's yeah. a new challenge. <laughs> right.